Hi everyone, so I got two new menstrual cups in the mail today and I just wanted to do an unboxing and my first impressions on both of them. I just did a video on the Super Jenny cup um, and here is the Lena cup that I just received. Uh, both of the cups are made in the USA and they are both made in California but um, this one shows that it was shipped out of Kentucky. Anyhow, I went ahead and opened the package and also cut the little sticker on the box, but I, I didn't open it completely. So here's the inside, and here's the box for the Lena Cup. And I didn't get a, rece a receipt or invoice or anything, but um, the Lena Cup was $24.95, and... Um, I don't know what shipping was. I'm sorry. I don't know what shipping was. I don't have Amazon Prime, but I did buy it on Amazon. And I did have a share coupon, which was 15% off, and I'll go ahead and include that. I don't know how long it's going to be valid for. Um, my total after the discounted, blah, 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 discounted price was $26.21. So here's the Lena box. And this is the front, and I'll just do a quick turnaround. They do come in, or the, the cup comes in two different sizes, and it only comes in this pink for now. And um, if I'm going too fast, you can pause your camera or your computer, sorry, to, to see them. This is a size large, and again, it's in pink. So opening the box here, they do have how to pronounce their name, and actually... Uh, before I saw Bree's video, I was pronouncing it incorrectly. So, Lena is the way that you pronounce it. And I wish some of these other cups actually uh, came with that information because, like the Juju cup, uh, you can call it Juju or Juju, and I don't know which one it is. And so, I'm I'm really happy that they included that. For the little thing, littlest things make me happy. So here's the cup, and it comes with a um, purple and white drawstring pouch. It's one-sided drawstring and a pamphlet which I'm not even going to open uh, at least not right now because I know how to use cups and I know that you're excited to see the Lena cup. So this is the Lena cup and again it is this pink color. It's very close to the Sabelle color pink if you have that. Uh, it's a tab style stem here, or stick style stem. Sorry, I, I would consider the tab... Let me reach over to my box. Oh, I should have just brought my box. Okay, here's my box. <laughs> I always uh, comment on my box. Um, so this is what I consider a tab style stem. So I would call this a stick, stick style stem. And um, it's flat on one side. It does have three grip rings on it, and they're raised pretty well. It is nice and stretchy, but it's not so stretchy that it continues to exit your body. It's soft even if you um, pinch down on it the opposite way. I know some of the other stems that are similar to this are very stiff when you try to pinch it the other way. Not that you're going to be pinching it, but still it might be uncomfortable if it was uh, if it was stiffer, I guess. Uh, there doesn't seem to be very much meat between the stem and the actual cup, so if you're cutting that and you can see it kind of turns white right there. Um, there's not very much meat there, so if you're going to cut this stem off, somebody's car alarm is going off at the school across the street. Uh, <laughs> if you're cutting this stem off, just leave a little bit of a nub on it so you don't puncture into your cup. There are three uh, grip rings underneath that, and they're raised pretty well. They give a good sound. So the silicone is really nice. It feels like a strong silicone that is going to last for several years. And if I put my fingers down in here and pull, it doesn't feel like the cup or my fingernails are just going to puncture right into the cup or through the cup. They do have a seam. Let me turn it here. Let's see if you can see that. Oh, 
Oh gosh. Here I'm going to fumble looking for the seam. That's a good sign though, right? That I can't find the seam. There it is. You can barely see it there, but they finished it off so nicely that you can't feel it one bit on either side. I can't feel that seam. And I think that the newer companies are really listening to uh, their users, their reviewers, um, to find out what little kinds of things they could change about their cup to make them more desirable. Or, you know, more people will want them. Anyhow, um, but I did hear, or I saw in Bree's video, that she had a hand in designing this cup, and that's so awesome for her. Kudos to her. She's a awesome young lady. Uh, if you don't know who she is, I don't know what's wrong with you, but <laughs> no. Um, if you don't know who she is, look her up. Precious Stars, uh, Brie Farmer. She has a lot of videos, a lot of great information. Um, check her out and subscribe to her too. Um, so back to the cup. Anyhow, um, there is another seam. I've been saying anyhow a lot. I I'm so sorry. There is another seam that goes right around the top of this rim and you can just see it there. It's not as finished as the rest of the cup, but I could barely, barely feel, feel it with my fingertips, so I don't think you're really going to have a problem with that. Just know that it is there. Um, there are four section release holes right at the rim here, and um, those are diagonally, uh, those are the direction is diagonal, and it's to the side diagonal, not straight down or straight up. And they're not evenly spaced around the cup, but they mirror each other if I press the cup together. And their name is molded in it, Lena, right there, and there's no other molding lines or numbers on this cup. Uh, this cup does hold 30 milliliters, and that's an ounce of fluid to the very top of that rim there. And um, it doesn't have that secondary rim because it is a, a, a bell shape. Usually the bell shapes don't have that secondary rim. And you know what? I didn't even mention that with the Super Jenny cup. It do that cup doesn't have that secondary rim either. But it does get a little more thick here at, at the rim. And you can see that there. It's an overall really nicely well made cup. It's not too soft and, and it doesn't feel really firm like rock hard. Um, so the closest cup that I have that it resembles is the flare cup. And you can see there. The only thing is the Lena bulges out just a bit more at the top than the flare does. And even the stems are quite similar. And this is another um, example of that stem that I was talking about. It's hard. When I, when I pinch down on it like this, it leaves marks on my fingers. So I know that some people have um, some problems with the stem being so stiff. Uh, and they have to cut it off because it's uncomfortable. Whereas the Lena cup, I don't think that people are going to have so much of a problem. And my fingers are still um, marked from the other cup, so it's not really going to work here to show you. Anyhow, uh, there's that anyhow word again. Um, I'll go ahead and compare it to one of the other cups that I have. Or actually, blah, blah, blah. I'm so lost right now, so unorganized, because I was so excited that I got these cups in that I wanted to do a video right off and not do any of my homework and get organized. But the cup that it's uh, most similar to in resistance is the Lunette cup out of the cups that I have. And I only have one cup that's more firm than the Lunette, and that's the Yuki cup. So I'm going to awkwardly turn to the side and do this. Um, squish test between the palms of my hands and you can see that neither of them are bulging in the center so they have a pretty similar resistance. 
pretty equal there. And then the rims, the, uh, the Lena cup has a little softer rim there. And I'll go ahead and compare them to the Diva and the Maluna Large since those are cups that people usually like to measure off of. So here's the Diva, si Diva Cup size 2 and the Maluna Large. And that's a classic. And this is a bell-shaped cup. Again, I know I did already mention that, uh, but they. Some people say that the the bell-shaped cups are are good for people that have a low cervix. It just is more comfortable, and it's a little shorter than the V-shaped cups like the Diva Cup. Um, I do have a high cervix, and I can still use these bell cups, but. It's a great cup and I can't wait to try it out. And I did mention in the other video that I just finished the Super Jenny, um, uh, my, la, la, la. oh my goodness, all last week I was spotting and I never really had a, a, a full cycle. Um, so I don't know if that was my period, but I probably am not that lucky. And so I won't get to try this until I actually have a full cycle. I will try it on a, a dry run, but uh, until I ha I get to try it on a, a real um, period, I won't do a review on it. So I'll have to stay tuned for that. So thanks for watching my unboxing and first impressions of the Lena Cup. I, I'm so excited to try it, and again, kudos to Brie for having a hand in designing this cup. I'll see you later.